Irreverent, entertaining, cool. You're listening to LA Talk Radio. You're listening to Razor Riffs with Keith Razor and Alan Lee, right here on LA Talk Radio. Hey, Rifters. Uh, Before we start the show today, uh, today's episode is brought to you by Zero Shoes. Enjoy the fun freedom of letting your feet move the way nature intended. Lightweight, flexible, and super comfortable. Go to raisearifts.weebly.com and click on the Zero Shoes tab. Again, go to raisearifts, R-E-Z-A-R-I-F-T-S dot weebly, W-E-E-B-L-Y. ly.com and click on the zero shoes tab and purchase some shoes back to the show hey alan lee good to have you back glad to have you back oh wait hold on let me turn you on hey alan lee glad to have you back glad to be here thanks for you having me and uh i'm glad to be part of this show and part of uh, razor riffs yeah you we recorded a show and you were in new york that's right and uh, how is New York? Well, you know, I love New York. There's a lot of things about it I like. There's a lot of things about it I don't like. Same thing with Los Angeles. I visited my mom. Uh, my sister has always took me everywhere. And, uh, you know, I did see uh, uh, Justice League. And I saw, which was really uh, impressive, I got to see uh, uh, Lugazamo. Who? John Lugazamo. Oh, you did? On stage. Did you his, ask him to do Raise the Riffs? You know what? The thing about it is uh, I'd had a couple and um, wait, what's a couple? Explain to the folks what a couple is. Well, I had a double, and I, I stopped, as you know. Wait, what's I, a double? A double is is a double shot. Of, oh, you you had some Jack drinks. Da- of Jack Daniels. Yeah, I know oh, you, you oh, know anything okay. about this. So you never you never around it. Do you remember that one time when I was driving you home? Mm-hmm. And uh, yeah, it was like twelve thirty, mm-hmm. and then uh, you're like, "Hey, dude!" And I was like, "Yeah." Mm-hmm. He's like, yeah, "We got stopped by Seven Eleven. I got to buy some scratch." Yeah, you're really nice. <laughs> you're really nice about that. Yeah, yeah. And then he came out with like beer and then you're like they ran no. out of scratchers no <laughs> <laughs> well you're very sweet because you knew that i wanted uh, to win the lottery and uh, i went in there and you know i was wrong about that uh-huh. and so i got myself a little refreshment and you were very kind and you you know i said i could walk home in my neighborhood which you know is a little bit at night you know it's a little bit different in inglewood and um, you said don't worry about it we'll take you home don't worry about it don't worry about it yeah well uh today's guest we have uh He's actually calling me, so let's introduce him, and then we'll oh. call him back. Oh, uh, We have, you've seen him from Mad TV, yes. uh, Comedy Central yeah. Presents. Mm-hmm. Uh, he's also been on mm-hmm. The Tonight Show with Jay Leno. Yeah. Uh, give it up uh, for Pablo Francisco. He's going to be performing at the Hollywood Improv this Saturday. All right. And uh, it's going to be fun. And i, I got to call him right now. Someone's calling me. First, let's take this call. You sure it's not a guest? Oh. Hello? Hello. Hi. Gotta go. Okay. Okay. Well, thanks for calling. <laughs> All right. Well, I told you. That's uh, that was weird. You know, they're calling in to see if Pablo was here, but yeah. obviously they heard you and they don't know what's going on. <laughs> well, we're calling him right now. And uh, it's gonna be fun. Oh, that's now. funny. Who was that? I don't know. It was weird. We we're trying to call Pablo. There wasn't someone playing a joke on you, right? I don't There's know. There's a couple people out there that, you know, they've been trying to play jokes on us. Yeah. Hi, this is Pablo. Hey, Pablo. Oh, it's Keith Pablo. Reza. Hey, Keith, how are you, sir? I just called your uh, cell phone, man. Oh, no oh, worries. Wow, I, man. I probably man. should have uh, nope. call, told you the studio number, but I didn't have it. Uh, thanks for doing oh, it, man. No I appreciate problem. it. No hey, no problem, buddy. You just let me know when you want to rock and roll, and we'll do it. Uh, All right. Uh, let me yeah. introduce you to the co-host. This is Alan Lee. The unknown comic. Alan. <laughs> Glad right to meet on. you, Pablo. Glad to meet you. The, he's the unknown comic yes. that doesn't have a bag over his head. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> was that from the Gong Show? Yeah. <laughs> oh, Pouring the water out of his oh, eyes? That's it. I hate that guy, the Gong. <laughs> have, you ever, have you ever met him? <laughs> you know what, man? I, I, was, I, I never met the guy. I was wondering what he looked like. I think he had a mustache or mm-hmm. something, but, yeah. Uh, yeah. you know, now it's paper or plastic, but, uh, <laughs> geez, I mean... Whatever happened to that guy, I'd be like, yeah. you know, Un- Unsolved Mysteries, this is Robert That's Smith. right. Where is the unknown color? Who knows? <laughs> to- unsolved Mysteries. He was telling jokes. <laughs> you know, man. I mean, I had to double back that, but, uh, <laughs> ouch. 
Well, you know, you know what's weird is like I, I've 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 heard of him from comedy, but I didn't know his real name. And I'm friends with Fred Stoller, and Fred Stoller is like really good friends with him. And he's like, oh, his name's Murray. I was like, oh, that's I'd probably pick a known comic. Wait, well, I mean, like, like, it, like let's say, I mean, like, how would he like meet chicks? Are you the unknown comic? Let's put a bag on his head. Okay, <laughs> all right, you're there. Oh, that's him. All right. Uh, yeah. You don't, don't know comic. Get a bag. Get a paper bag, somebody. <laughs> Put it on there. Jeez. But, but it's unknown a, comic. It's, it's weird because a lot of comics take a lot of styles from people, but that's the one style no one's ever taken. And you, <laughs> yeah, don't, hey, man, don't bag on the guy. Yeah, really. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's what, my material. Give me paper or plastic. I mean, what? I mean, what a concept! You know, I'm going to put a bag on my head. They go, producer. You know what? Come on over here. I want to talk to Johnny Carson. You know, uh, you got uh, you got good talent. Uh, come on the show. Squirt some water out of your eye and uh, <laughs> uh, rock and roll. <laughs> I don't know we got those gimmicks at, but you know, I like to see Johnny Carson on cocaine. What is that you've never seen before, uh, Johnny Carson? Oh, uh, I'm so high right now. Uh, Wow, uh, Doc, where'd you score this stuff? <laughs> uh, wow, uh, is that a new drummer? Okay, but anyhow, it's, it's crazy celebrities on cocaine. Yeah. It's Jay Leno. So, uh, uh someone's under my chin. Uh, so, uh, uh okay. <laughs> Okay. Good night. <laughs> you, you ever get the impression when you watch Jay Leno that maybe he was doing cocaine? Because like some of the comics on it were really bad, and it's just like that was good. <laughs> oh yeah. So uh, you know, it's good. Uh, on the show, dang, we got uh, Tony Montana on the show, and uh, <laughs> he's doing comedy. <laughs> it's Tony Montana on the Tonight Show doing comedy. Okay, let me tell you something. Knock knock. <laughs> okay, you like your kiss? Okay, knock, knock. Hey, come on, man. I don't think they get the joke yet. Shut up, man. Okay, <laughs> knock, knock. Who's there? Okay, Taylor and Jenner. Oh, I messed up the joke. Okay, try again. Was was he like that when so you what? did the Tonight Show? <laughs> when I did the Tonight Show, Jay Leno was like, uh, he takes you backstage and he goes, so you got any questions, anything you want to ask me? I said, well, was uh, David Letterman and uh, that little situation I saw on HBO, remember they had that... Uh, that uh, the real story about the Tonight Show, and he goes, absolutely everything was true about that. Okay, everything was true. And listen, you get the opportunity, you got to take it. So I took it, and I was going all right. And then he goes, you don't. What did he say? He goes, you don't do drugs, you don't cheat on your wife, and you do the Tonight Show. <laughs> and I was like going, well, hey, there you go, plain and simple. It is all wrapped and then, up uh, in one bag. Did yeah. Then he just did the show. He goes, whatever you do, don't wave at the band. Don't don't wave at him. <laughs> I guess so. <laughs> didn't wave at the band and uh it was all good man but when i saw him uh he was getting some pizza right down the street from me and i go hey what's up jane he goes uh hey, who are you and that's oh wow. wow that was on your show oh yeah, well, that was kind of strange yeah that's got to hurt but uh yeah you know, yeah he goes he goes can you tell me who the guest was on the show i go uh <laughs> the judd me? ashley judd he goes oh it's on pablo yeah how you doing yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh man but uh, Pablo, I wanted to ask you something because uh, you, I, I listened to an interview you did a couple weeks ago on a radio show, and uh, you said that you got uh, popular from YouTube. But I know you from Mad TV. Mm-hmm. That was mm-hmm. way before YouTube. Oh, yeah, it was. Uh, you know, I was. Yeah, that was that was a blessing. And I remember there. I mean, Artie Lang left the show. I guess they get for a movie deal or something. So they asked me to, to fill it for the six episodes and it was at the Lucille Ball studios that's mm-hmm. when it was like mm-hmm. they were bringing giraffes in there for his kid you know they were they were paying a lot of money and uh, you know you get on that show and it, uh, all the cast on that show were like great I mean these guys could like memorize you have Brian Callen on the show and yeah. and uh, it was yeah it was that, that right there it was well show was expected here comes a there was a cop car coming by here oh. all right here we go there you go. And anyhow, I got to go, man. So, but anyhow. <laughs> uh, Been a fun interview. <laughs> you got to take off, man. So uh, what happened was, yeah, that's, as that started progressing, my dad thought, because um, I just went right to Tucson, Arizona, to Los Angeles. Mm-hmm. And my dad, I, you know, I, and at the time I was doing Mad TV, I drove back home and pay my, had owed my parents like 19 grand. So I went over there to pay him back. And my dad goes, hey, you know what? I don't believe you're on TV and all this stuff, but there's a Mexican girl on the Mad TV show that's doing your stuff. And I go, that's me. That's me. Man. <laughs> and he goes, oh, what? <laughs> and he still didn't believe it. And he goes, where's your seatbelt? Where'd you get the car? And I was like, I go, hey, Dad, I, I, I'm on Mad TV. He goes, you know what? Whatever. Wear your seatbelt. Get out of here. So, uh, did you watch funny. the Did you watch the new version of Mad that's TV funny. that came out like one or two years ago? 
Yeah, that was kind of, they went from the Lucio Ball Studios to, to like a KTLA 5 or something. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it, like it was a little they weird, like, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, you know, they still kept, oh, there's a lot of sirens going on here. What the hell is going on here? Okay, here we go. <laughs> Last night they had Santa Claus and they were taking all these uh, sirens. But back to the, <laughs> back to the thing, uh, back to the interview. Uh, what was the question again? Jeez. Oh, no, just uh, the difference between Mad TV from two years ago. Right. Yeah, because like, I think the original one was well funny, you know? Oh, yeah, it was. You had the good producers on there. and But the other one, it seems like they had like 20 cast members. Yeah. You know, like like it was like playing football at a party. Okay, hey, can I join? Wow. So it's like, yeah, it was, uh, it was like, you know, kind of like, uh, I guess, a free-for-all there. I mean, a lot of cast members, but... The show still had some juice. But, yeah, but uh, you know, they brought the budget down. So there you go. Yeah, that's true. I actually, uh, uh, I didn't really audition for it, but like they auditioned me through my stand up, and I got denied to make a actual audition because apparently my stand up is too smart. You know, and I was like, well, <laughs> right, okay. <laughs> that's kind of too mad. cerebral. Yeah. Oh, cerebral, I guess. Yeah, yeah. I uh, I went up. There. I went in my audition. I. I screwed up on the read like really crazy. I go, I go. I'm sorry, man. I read like Forrest Gump. They go, no problem. Hey, wh- but what do you think about these sketches? And they were, they showed the sketches on you know in the meeting. And I was like going, and I start tagging them up. Yeah. And they go, okay, you got it. So there we go <laughs> on that part. So I was in good hands with all speed. Yeah. Uh, Pablo, I wanted to ask you, uh, your Comedy Central Presents special, it's like very uh, established as one of the best Comedy Central Presents specials that they have mm-hmm. on that show. Do you think that's... Thanks, no, I mean, I totally agree, but like that's just a... It's listed as the best ones, you know, it's number one. And, uh, well, it's... Uh, mm, yeah. well, that's cool. Dude. That's good to know. Yeah. You didn't know that? Well, you know, I, I was... The thing was is that when we filmed it, um, Nick Swartzen was ahead of me, right? And he was so funny. And then they got a new audience. No, they kept the same audience. And when I went on stage, they had, you know, there was a, then there was another comedian. And his that guy's comedy was just kind of like, uh, how you say, kind of stock and, hey, what do you think about this? And, you know, it was like really, the audience was digging it. But when I went on stage... I was a little bit too different for them, and but it worked out at, at the very end. Yeah. But uh, my manager told me he goes, "You got the worst ratings." I uh, didn't get good ratings at first. I go, I go, "Well, if you," I go, "What?" I go, "They're gonna look at it and go, what was that?" And then they're gonna see, they're gonna tell their friends to see it. Yeah. So mm-hmm. after the third, after the third play, then it just started taking off. And I was like, "All right, cool. That's that was a beautiful thing." So yeah, I got lucky on that one. Well, I can tell you why I got bad ratings. If your manager said is because. Uh, Nick Swartzen's funny. You're hilarious, and the unknown comic. Who knows about him? <laughs> <laughs> if, you, if you know where he's at, let us know. Let us know. <laughs> so the next unknown comic. Where is he? <laughs> oh God, that's fucking. That's funny. He could probably. He could probably tap you on the shoulder. Hey, that's me. How's that? How's that special bad guy? <laughs> bad, bad guy. Ouch. Yeah. He's now doing pornography. Yeah. No, but. He's never going to yeah, do this I, show now. <laughs> yeah, now with the unknown comedy from the next biography. What happened to him? History Mark channel. Mark Wahlberg plays the unknown comic. Hey, man, give me that bag. Huh? Good? Huh? Mark Wahlberg takes over. He's taking over Hollywood. Watch out. When it says Mark, he's going to take your part. It's like the Transformers. Where's Shia LaBeouf? <laughs> All right, it's me now. He's taking over, even in Star Wars. Oh, you're not a Jedi yet. <laughs> hey man, you're supposed to be my father, huh? <laughs> Darth Vader? I don't think so, man. Huh? I should chop you up in little pieces and make a spin-off in Bravo, huh? I can't get ready. He's gonna take everybody. Lee Neeson. You stay away from my part. You stay away from my vision. You stay away from. Hey, man. Lick my Calvin Klein balls. Huh? <laughs> and Arnold Schwarzenegger. This is what happened to my tortillas. Hey, man, how about a wall burger? Huh? <laughs> Take that. Huh? He's everywhere. He's doing elementary school announcements. <laughs> What's going on at Cold Elementary? <laughs> huh? Do it good? Do it good? <laughs> Salisbury steak, macaroni and cheese. I don't know. It's it's so weird about the unknown comic. Yeah, <laughs> but, but it's so weird about Mark Wahlberg because apparently, like, uh, 
you know, earlier in his career, he was like a huge badass. Like he was like, I heard like he beat a guy until he got blinded or something, and now he's like, oh sweet. really? Yeah. Wow. So like, I heard he was like a huge gang banging guy. Oh, I didn't. Yeah, he always mentions that, you know, like after all these uh, 40 years have gone by. You know, he's like, you know, I was, you know, they, they put me in, in jail for, you know, for a quarter gram of brand new coat. <laughs> he always mentions that. <laughs> now, Howard Stern goes, Howard Stern goes, oh, now, coming up is Mark Wahlberg. He's walking in the studio. Hey, you doing, Mark? Hey, you doing, man? <laughs> you know what? I, I, I think, this is what I'm thinking, what Robin thinks, and I think that you're going to go back to party and stuff. What are you talking about, man? Huh? <laughs> crazy yeah. and so I think he I mean Marky Mark and the Funky Bunch you know that was you know hey you gotta start somewhere you know but uh, <laughs> he was Calvin Klein I, yeah he was beating people up for a long time wow. but you know <laughs> beating people up <laughs> take that huh good sensation <laughs> feel good huh beat up Go. by Mark Wahlberg <laughs> That Mark Wahlberg is now feeling bad about doing Boogie Nights. Hey, man, you my weenie? I don't know about that. So I think there's something's going on. He's, he's turned to religion. Hey, man, dear God, please, I'll take the money, then get back the money. <laughs> take the money, too. Uh, See, I don't want this. Well, I feel bad about showing my weenie. You, know, whatever. I, you got the touch. <laughs> yeah. Boogie Nights made a lot of stars, but, you know, do we really have to know about the porn business like that? Hey, man, get out of my way. He's in an orgy. I'm going to get something to eat. Excuse me. Uh, <laughs> but uh, my back to my the question I was going to ask is, uh, do you oh, think, yeah. do, sorry, do, do you think uh, the Comedy Central Presents specials, do you think that they could help comedians now, or do you think Netflix is just totally eating them up? Oh, you know what? I think they both work at the same time. I mean, either way, people are going to always check in the Comedy mm -hmm. Central. Yeah. You know, and uh, and but, and now they, now with the, with YouTube and people just go, hey man, go back to it, check it out. Because when I was doing it, they go, this is what time it's on. You got to hit the VCR, and uh, and I had a friend of mine, this guy. Well, they didn't, they didn't know him too well, but he would walk around my neighborhood with the DVD. Yeah. I mean, with the with the VHS tape, going, hey, everybody, check out this guy, this Pablo, right? Check him out. And I, I was going, whoa! I had this boy, this Italian guy, who was selling weed, going to house to house, smoking up with people, watching my tape. So I owe it to him too, <laughs> <laughs> walking around with the VHS tape. Uh. But yeah, now uh, Netflix man is uh, is really blowing my mind because those guys just like score, just shot up doing all kinds of TV shows, and mm -hmm. now they're taking comics and. They're, uh, you know, they, they're taking their deals and go, hey, you want a better deal? And it's a beautiful thing, man. Oh, it's yeah. fantastic. You got, you got a Netflix special, oh, yeah. Dave right? Chappelle, yeah. Oh, yeah. man, good for you. It's, uh... Have you filmed it yeah, yet? Yeah, Dave Chappelle, I think. Well, my, with mine, I got right now Netflix. I was putting cartoons and comedy uh. in the one. So basically, Ooh. I go up on stage, dog the bounty hunter. He's a convicted <laughs> felon, doesn't have the right to vote. But as if it right to come to your house and spray mace in your face. And then we have <laughs> we have the cartoon of you know of him running you know running through Chinatown trying to you know he's arresting the wrong people. Hey, here you go, Ching Lee. Oh, wrong one. Okay, how about this one? That kind of thing. So <laughs> it, it's like a Dave should tell me it's cartoons. And Netflix goes, okay, we like it, uh, we like it, but we want more stand up. So yeah. I'm going to be at the Melrose this Saturday. Saturday. Mm -hmm. uh, Two shows to try out some new stuff and check out and see how it goes and the improv. make fun of people in a nice way and make fun mm -hmm. of myself because I got drunk and fell off stage and almost <laughs> I, I was so drunk they go you're going to AA and I go no I'm drinking there they took me to AAA so <laughs> there you go I, I do <laughs> want, I do want to mention your next gigs because we have a lot of listeners in San Diego but you're also going to be at the American Comedy Club uh, on December oh. 14th through the 17th there you go. So, oh God! What a beautiful city, San Diego, man! What a great place! I mean, it's a great place to go. You know, it's, <laughs> down, it's sick over there. I love it, man. The oh, women are beautiful. different. Everybody's everybody's different. Oh, so, so nice! It's a, yeah, so nice. Yeah, American comedy. That 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 club rocks. They do me well up there, and uh, it has I'm like a haunted dream room. Yeah, it's a, you know what, what I like about it. Oh. Man, they always take me a nice hot Mexican meal when I'm there. <laughs> nice. You know what I'm saying? Nice. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so that's it. Come on down to San Diego. Come on down to my show. And uh, we'll rock and roll, and then we'll hit the downtown A and B. Oh. What was it? Is it like gang members over there? Hey, man, come to my Chula Vista, eh? Come on. <laughs> Stick my El Cojones. Stick my El Cojones. <laughs> All right? You damn Chula Vista. What's up, eh? <laughs> Generic Cholo. <laughs> now, Pablo, I have a question. Hey, man. 
Uh, you used to Go do you used to do Michael J. Fox impressions. Uh, do you think you could do a Michael J. Fox impression if he was in Back to the Future with Gary Busey? Yeah, Doc, see, Doc, boy, it, you got to do something, man. Come on. Hey, man, you're getting too close to the Super Pal. Super Pal. Come on, man. Get the long book. Come on. Huh. What, 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 what's going on here? Okay. <laughs> you went to pay. No, that's it. Why are you shaking, man? Here, stand still. Right. Hey, man. You know, I shouldn't have done that Parkinson joke, man. <laughs> you know what I got? Listen, we got to go back to the future. We're going to take some beer and booze and put it in this car. <laughs> All right? No QIs. Doc. Why do you call me Doc? Wait, Doc Johnson? I got that. I got a little toy. We're next back to the future. Uh, Dad, it's me. You need to stop hanging out with that guy. <laughs> hey, man. You guys want frisky? Want to what? Turn to touch me in my cone cone and whatnot? <laughs> All right. Don't you think nice. that's a better version of Back to the Future? Listen, what? A, <laughs> it's, 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 yeah, I want to see it. It's a little ADD. It's kind of scattered. <laughs> I like it. I like it. Big Sorry, Mark fan. Wahlberg. As, as, <laughs> hey, man, I got Asperger's. Come on, man. You good? Oh, did, did you, I, I, I have Asperger's. Asperger, you know, I thought Asperger's like like when a, like a cook goes, man, I don't like that guy, and he like takes the patty and sticks it in his butt. <laughs> Here, I have an Asperger. <laughs> you know? no, That's it, what I thought, man. I swear to God, this guy goes, hey, Pablo, man, you know it's Rudy? And we have an eighth Asperger's. I go, really? I go, so, what, you spit in his food or something? He goes, no, no, Asperger's. I go, Asperger's, boy. Would the Beavis and Butthead come up with that? <laughs> you know? No. Hey, uh, you got Asperger's. Hey, Beavis, you got Asperger's. Yeah, you got butt much. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's a it's a form of autism, and I, I seriously have it. In fact, uh, my stand up, I actually talk about having autism. So, I thought when you said really, that, really, I mean, doesn't autism isn't that like um, don't you got a superpower somewhere? Like you know, <laughs> autism, uh, people always got that special kind of. He has a special power. You know, he was he was at a you know he's at a football game and the ball jumped on him and he ran for the touchdown or something. Yeah, I don't know. I think well, my okay, good. You've got a good autism. You yeah, yeah. Autism yeah, yeah. I think my uh, my superpower Super. for autism is just writing good jokes. Oh, super memory too. Yeah. Right. Hey man, write write me some, man. Yeah. I to write me sex, some. Sex oh. shops. You want to hear a joke I just wrote? That I don't know if it's funny. You could tell me if it's Pablo or funny. Go for Let's it. Do it, buddy. All right. So uh, growing up, uh, I used to drink a lot of soda, and my dad said you can't drink soda because it'll rot your teeth out like your grandmother. So 30 years I've been drinking soda and my teeth ain't rotten. So I had dinner with my dad the other day and my dad, I was drinking soda and my dad was like, uh, I'm surprised your teeth haven't rotten like your grandma's. And I was like, oh, dad, there's a difference between meth and coke. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> nice. We right. took his meth, meth, meth and coke. His meth, grandma was doing meth. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Hey, yeah. Grandma, yeah, I'm all messed up. <laughs> yeah. That's right. Grandma's on. He's one of the makers of whatever that TV show about pot. And also <laughs> quiet, cool, come Grandma on mess. Yeah. That's right. Fuck for the whole family on NBC. <laughs> now, has, Grandma on mess. Has Movie Phone ever, like, reached out to you about taking over for that guy? Because he, didn't he die, like, five years ago? You could, like, just act like he's still alive and do... Yeah, Don LaFont. Don LaFontaine, uh, yeah, I, I, I went to his house. I met him on the set of, uh, of Frank Killiendo's TV show at the time called Frank TV. Uh -huh. And I just, I, I met him. He goes, hey, what are you doing? We got uh, we got five hours to kill. I go, <laughs> he goes, come to my house. I went to the guy's house, man. Hung, hung out with him for like three hours. <laughs> and he goes, you're a little radical. You know, you do me better than I do me. If I was you, I'd be doing me. Yeah. And... Um, I just uh, now started doing it. Now I just got I just nailed like six Subaru commercials. Oh, doing nice! That now. Nice. Yeah, the thing was, I w the thing was, people go, "Are you gonna be the next guy?" I go, "You know what? I, I feel so bad." Like stepping in, going, "Hey, man, here I am. I'm the next movie guy." You know, and he was, uh, you know, watching that guy just get, you know, I mean, he we been in his studio and he was always oh, telling me to do a voiceover, <laughs> and it comes in. A, the paper comes in and he gets in a glass dome and he goes, are you ready, Don? He goes, I'm ready. All right, Keith or Sutherland, we bought your DVD set. And they boink. And that's how he, that, that, that's how he makes his money. He goes, I do three of these a day, Pablo, and I live like a king. I go, well, I know you got an elevator to your room. 
Well, once he got sick of it, you know, I'm sick and tired of saying inner world. Don't, uh-uh. I'm not, I'm not going to say that anymore. Inner world. No, no. Uh-uh. You know, kind of in, but good guy. He gave me his ISDN. Oh, that's no, awesome. No, wow. the, but uh, so, <laughs> so there's no chance you're going to take over that and just say, oh, I'm alive. <laughs> Well, hey, I'm back. Get ready. Uh, <laughs> it's like, uh, you know, yeah, there's, there's a lot of other guys that do it, too. But I, I, right now, I got my in on it because so I went to Subaru guys, came up to me, and they go, can you do this you know, this new car? And I said, all right, sure. And I started doing it, and they go, they go, that sounds good. Keep on going with it. And uh, so now I'm just working on the voice again, just trying to get the different octaves of, you know, of happy. It's a get ready. It's a very great Brady summer. And then it can go into evil someone who's playing a deadly game. And then, you know, it's like you can't do it in Spanish. I'll just sub you up low. That's Chinese, I guess. But, oh, that's good. Love it. But oh. the other one, the other guys are so corny, man. They they put their hands up in the air. I was at mm-hmm. CBS. I think I was at you know, Sirius Radio in New York. And some guy goes, I do uh, the previous two. And he's like, get ready. I whisper. And yes, Queen Latifah and Quackity Cooks in Sarcastic Sisters, whatever the hell it was. Yeah. And I was like going, yeah, I go, well, that's great, dude. I mean, you got groupies. I mean, I don't get it. So <laughs> it uh, it pays well. You know, I did it for mm-hmm. Universal Studios for the rides and stuff. Yeah. And uh, that's, you know, you, you got to really think about the vowels and the its and the thos and forensic files. You know, that, the guy from Forensic Files. Oh, Peter Thomas. Voice, yeah. He sounds like the creepy guy. And then the DNA yeah. was matched with. You go, oh, geez, man, this guy's scaring me already. More <laughs> spooky than the show. You, you want to hear a funny <laughs> story about uh, Peter Thomas? Is like because I'm obsessed with that show. I think Peter Thomas is like the one of the best narrators in history. You know, it does. It, yes, he. I, I will, mm-hmm. will admit they picked the right guy. Yeah, but you know, sometimes he has to do that. It was here. What do you, you got on Peter Thomas, man? Let's, well, let me, you know. Well, when I got when I got my own podcast, I wanted to inter- interview just people that you know I respect and look up to, and that's the point of the show. And I mm-hmm. wrote Peter Thomas to do it, and uh, the Forensic Files producers wrote me back, and they said he died three years ago. Uh, <laughs> you know what? How, you know, I heard that. Yeah, I just heard he just died. Like I thought it was recently, but he it was like three years ago. Yeah. Wow. So I felt like know, a huge I, jerk. I think he was. I think he was that old man in Poltergeist too. Yeah. I think he was that. That was him. Yeah, he was like uh, ninety-five or something. He was really old. But. Yeah, and he was like, you know, he was. He, he I mean, I, I think he was doing so many of those forensic files, he couldn't even sleep, man. They just kept on going to his house. <laughs> Here's another one. Oh, I'm eating breakfast. Then the DNA. It's a clutch of the chlorophyll. Oh, yeah. <laughs> going, Holy smoke. Yeah. yeah, they're kind of spooky, but God bless his heart. I mean, you make. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, how, I mean, do you work hard when you do that with the, I mean, voiceover work? It, you got to constantly do it, but uh, there's always there's always those all those other guys doing it. You know, sure. the Casey Kasem kind of guys. Sure. That's right, it's Hercules and all your favorite Disney characters. You're like, all right, I mean, so sounds like a Casey Kasem, Casey mm-hmm. Disney kind of thing. And no, but Casey's Casey Kasem had the best one. I'm yeah. Casey Kasem, and yeah. it's time for a long distance dedication. <laughs> it beats dear Casey. My ex wife was mauled by a bunch of pit bulls. Would you please play? Go let the dogs out. <laughs> <laughs> now, Pablo, I have a question on on uh, impressions because you, you're like so good at. It. Uh, would you well, say you. Would you say that a good because you have extremely high confidence too? Would you say that's a necessary tool when you do impressions? Mm. Mm. Oh. It would be like, like to be like overconfident. You said, is, no, is that what you said? Yeah, like your confidence and your your humor is, you know, that works well like that. But like a lot of people just have the humor and just not the confidence on doing impressions. Do you think you need impre- confidence to do impressions? Absolutely. I mean, you got to believe in it. I, this guy moved in with me, a friend of mine. He, I work really well with him. He's Steve. He, he lives downstairs. But uh, <laughs> he, he, I go, I go. I need somebody who play. He's a really good comic. He's great. And I, I use them all the time, but uh, this time he's up in Kansas City. But anyhow, this guy is a badass when it comes to impersonations, and he does it really technical. Like he, he will go. I go do Gene Simmons, and he goes, okay, he goes, okay this is Gene Simmons, and uh, don't do drugs. And I go, how do you do that? And he goes, well, you take the art vark from Pink Panther, and you mix it with 
with I go what you know but <laughs> that's, more, that's what he more said to you okay good to hit this guy okay and then you have to go to Jewish thing this is Gene Simmons I go well okay now he's working on Robert Downey Jr. and what he does he does it then I go into the room and I and I kind of I kind of kind of you know snake it off him right and he goes okay but he just wrote he was into Trump okay this is Trump my penis is huge and I go all right but he looks he morphs into these guys I go do the pawn shop guy from the pawn shop TV show and he's morphed into him I go now he's just trying to get his voice down but he morphs his face looks just like the pawn shop guy mm -hmm. and I was going right I go he's so talented I go okay I swear to God, Kevin James and and Adam Sandler go. We're looking for a guy who can do Mr. Rourke from Fantasy Island. Are you mm -hmm. familiar with that show? No, no, no. Yeah, I am. But Alan's a geek. He so played he knows. Fantasy Island. Yeah. Uh, yeah. He played. Uh, he played Khan in the rap of Khan. Yes, uh, he uh, had the Corinthian leather commercials yeah, with the car. Yeah, the Corinthian right. leather. Yes, he, I, I was trying to do him, and, and he was just like listening and trying to get it down, and he just goes up there. You got to do it like this, and he just hits it. You know, tattoo, come again, tattoo, come, come over here, tattoo. But that, that was mine. It was like right on it. And uh, so some people got it, some people don't. But it, we don't, I don't do an impersonation if I can't at least get at least 80% sure. of it down. Sure. I don't want to, you know, do a cheesy one. Hey, you know, that kind of thing. I don't know. Crappy Johnny Carson or well, who's doing Johnny Carson anymore? But, hey. you know. Rich Maybe. Little still does Janet, Johnny Carson. Janet, here we go. Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> but um, so there you have it. But uh, Rich Little still does Johnny Carson. I uh, I did. I saw him in Vegas, and uh, he was doing Johnny Carson. There's like 20 year olds in the. It's kind of sad in a way because you know I Carson's a genius for comedy, but 20 year olds don't really know who he is. You know what I mean? So. Yeah, but at least there's some people in there that do know. I mean, like we, we we dedicate our lives now to twenty year olds. Do you know who this is? When they're listening to our, yeah. they're listening to Pink Floyd. You know, <laughs> hey, listen, you're too, you're too young to be listening to Pink Floyd. You know, it's like uh, you get a yeah, Johnny the... Carson. Yeah, why not? You know, oh, people sure. just look it up on YouTube. History, man, history. You know, man. and that's how it works. I mean, up in Australia, they don't know who the the uh, which the all state guys are. You in good hands with all state, but. <laughs> The people in Australia will see that bit and go to the right. they'll you know research it and check it out. So you got to do a lot of research. <laughs> I guess uh, I don't know. Was, uh, uh, Rich Little. Uh, that was Ricardo Montalban. <laughs> we were talking about. I just came. Ricardo Montalban. Ricardo Montalban. Yeah. Yes. yes. Yeah. That's, that's a, yeah. Are you trying to do Ricardo Montalban? <laughs> <laughs> I'm wanting to practice right now. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. It's like a Dracula kind of. I just yeah. did, I just did Ricardo Montalban as a Dracula. Yeah. So I'm trying. Uh, so we're we're <laughs> having a. You're, you're, right, you're, om you're almost there. You just got to dip into a Kermit the Frog. Usually, Montalban. The Monte, the Monte Balls, the Montalban. Yeah, Jewish Montalban. Latino, Hispanic, but yeah. This is like a yeah. what, an impression off with Pablo oh, and Alan. This Lee. is great. This is great. I'm. This is great. <laughs> you guys, well, are you uh, in Santa Monica? Are you in Santa Monica? Are you are you in so the podcast here? You know, podcasts are so convenient because you can. You know, you, you could be your own editor and director. You know, yeah. so I mean, is it, is it is it flowing good? You love it? Yeah, oh, I, I love it. We actually man. we actually pay for an editor and a director, but he's on vacation, so I'm actually directing this there right now. I'm under such stress. You are, you're directing the best of the best <laughs> of the podcast. The best of the podcast. The best. Yeah. You ever get like an Indian an Indian radio station? Hockey <laughs> in the morning. Come on, everybody! Come on, traffic crazy! Come on, <laughs> let's do it. No, <laughs> WSTD's the bird with itchy and scratchy in the morning. Uh, like what? Have you ever thought about was, starting your own podcast? I think that'd be cool. Well, I was in. I went to Sirius Radio about six months ago, and, and no, a little more than that. And they did a Jamie Fox. Someone was filling in for Jamie Fox. I went in there and did, did that, and then with the Jenny McCarthy show. And then when I got out, they go, oh, "Sirius goes, you want your own show?" And I was like, well, "Really?" I go, "Are you serious?" And they go, "Yeah." And I went, well, I'm working on this project right now. And they said, well, okay, well, it's open up. You know, just tell us what you, you know, really cool like that. Yeah. So I was like going, wow. I go, uh, so I told my manager and he goes, yeah, if you want, just come back and make us make a, like a, a sizzle reel of the, that we yeah. of the, um, of the show that we want, the way we want to do it. So I keep in touch with those guys. Believe me, I didn't blow it off, but I was, you know, we still, you know, hug and scratch here and there and we're still talking about it. And, uh, yeah, I mean, I don't mind doing it, but I can't do like a two-hour podcast. I would have to do like a forty-five-minute one each one. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Man, just, 
Yeah, two hours is a little little much. I like the forty five because it's like straight, entertaining, you know, to the point stuff like right. that. Right. But you got you got time to yeah. you got time to think it out. You know what? Hey, everybody, it's, it's podcast with comedian Quackity Coops. Hey, man, it's all about me. Let me tell you what I did. I went to the store, <laughs> and here's my friend. It's like, all right, I heard it. You know, you know. <laughs> But you so, know, it's, it's so wild cool. and yeah. crazy st- podcast stuff with you know David the fucking. Oh, did I say the F word? Oh, I can say no, F-word. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right. We're, we're F. We're yeah, F- yeah, we're F legitimate. There you go. I said it. <laughs> <laughs> Pablo, uh, this, this might be a, a weird question, but um, do you have your own personal Uber guy? Uber guy, you know, the thing is, I can't take Uber because they get involved in the conversations. You right. Know? You take the Uber <laughs> and they go, you, you know, you'll be driving. And they go, you want some candy? And uh, tell you what, I go, can you just go a little faster? I got to get to this the, the, my airline flight. Just can you just run the right red light? Well, I can't do that. And then I was talking to this girl, and this one guy goes, "Hey, man, don't be, don't be talking." I go, "Every time I talk, dude, you slow down. What's, what's the deal? You know, get a cab driver to bitch him over. God damn it, screw that dude." You know, yes, talk. Well, like, what the, come on, get in car. It's well, like, what, it's like, yeah, Uber. Uh, it's kind of, you know, I like Uber, but you know what? I go for Lyft, man. Okay, and now oh. you can pimp your car out. Yeah. So therefore, how many miles on it? Hey, man. You know, you've seen other cars behind my back. Hey, man, you just take my car. You become the Uber driver. Then I pick up. They pick up food. They deliver down. What, wow. What's the deal? You know, yeah. Uber picks up food, picks you up, then takes takeout, gets coffee. It's like holy smokes. And it charges you oh, what, twice Uber? as much. There you go. Yeah, and you, and then he got those people. Um, you don't have to tip me. Yes, no, I don't want to take the tip. Like, you take the tip. No, thank you. Rate five stars on it. They yeah. rate you. <laughs> this guy's a bad customer. <laughs> what? <laughs> you know, I I'm going to stay out for five minutes. No, I'm going to leave now. Okay, I'm charging you five bucks. Well, the the reason why I asked that is because a, a couple months ago, when because uh, we were originally scheduled to have you on in the summer. And then your schedule right. got maxed out, so we had to, you know, we had to reschedule. But uh, before we had, we were having you. I was in an Uber, and I was telling him about the show. I was like, "Yeah, I'm, I'm about to interview Pablo," and he's like, "Oh, I'm his personal Uber driver." I was like, "What?" He's like, "Yeah." So like, Ooh, it was, secret, Uber driver. Yeah. secret Uber driver. Personal. <laughs> I was like, Uber driver. I was what like, that's doing? pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, you can't really... Did, did he... Did he was, was he an uh, Indian guy? Personal Uber driver? Wait, no, hold on. He How was, long ago was this? Uh, this was about oh, yeah. two, three months ago. His name was Michael. Okay, I, I remember Michael was his name. Oh. Okay. Well, you know what? There was this kid who picked me up. Like, I had to go to Walgreens, right? And I go, I'm going to try the Uber thing. So I tried the Uber thing, and it you know gives me the little map thing, and his kid drives up. Hey, man, what's up, dude? And I go, hey, listen, can you take me to Walgreens? <laughs> He takes the Walgreens, which is like five feet away, you know, but I just want to go, right? <laughs> and he waits for me, and he goes, man, if you wait for me, then you have to call back in. I go, yeah, diggity go, diggity go, diggity go, just <laughs> let's go. And he goes, hey, any time, man, I'm in this area a lot. And did he, his car was kind of junky, but, but then again, you know, he had good attitude. But, <laughs> so yeah. I said, hey, man, uh, next time you, I go, if you're in the area, just buzz me up because uh, I may have to run a few errands or something. He goes, no problem, bro. So that's where it came from, probably. Oh. The history. We go deep into underneath the Uber videos. <laughs> but, yeah. That would be a good you show. Kind of like Cash Cab, but Uber Cab. There you go. You should Uber pitch cab. that. Uber, Uber Cab, Lyft Cab. <laughs> that's right. Watch And, and they all go head to head. I got a yellow cab. I got Lyft. <laughs> and now they're parking, making long lines, looking like it's a damn drive through theater. Driving, you know. I can't believe this. You go to a gas station, there's a long line there. You go, man, they must be busy. No, it's a bunch of Uber drivers sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> but, but no, you should pitch a show like that and host it. You would be great on that show. You'd be like, hey. Oh, sure. <laughs> the Uber drivers, that would be kind of funny. I mean, get ready. He's going to play tricks on Uber drivers. Go in there with a bunch of cocaine. Come on, man. Just drive down here, okay? Forget <laughs> the direction. Five All right? Stars. No consolation, okay? Keep Four going, man. Five stars. All right? Do you want a problem with that? Huh? <laughs> Hey, come on, man! You scary, you man! Come on, man! Hey, hey, pick up, pick up, Sosa, the drug dealer. I right, told you I like you, but you should have took it lift. Okay, <laughs> don't fuck with me, Montana. I like you, Tony, but taking Uber. I will you? Okay, I take lift. Okay, I take lift. I never trust that guy. Who takes Uber? Me. Who takes it? Me. It's like remember when Wait, Uber was called Cab. Boat? Let me tell you something. Okay? I came on a lift, okay? All right? You look like tired. Little tiny tire. 
Oh, oh God. Where am I going with this? Jeez. I mean, where's, Corey, where's Corey Feldman when you need him, huh? <laughs> Corey Feldman. Uh, hey, everybody. He's, he, he's a sex addict. Then he's a Christian. Then he knows Michael Jackson. Then he hates him. It's Corey's album. <laughs> Quackity kookity kook. I, I actually met Corey. Like, he did, he did the show before ours one time. And, like, do you remember right. this? I don't recall that one. Oh, really. but he was, like, really, really weird, man. Like, he was, I like. Heard, I heard he is. He's weird. like a singer yeah. now or something. Oh, wonderful. Yeah, what'd you, what, 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 what'd you, what was the scoop? You heard of something about it? what happened? What, 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 you the, ran into the, him? The true story about <laughs> I heard that he, like, you know, he, uh, Angels, he has uh, his agency, uh, Angels from the Dark City or something like that. Yeah, the there night. you go. Yeah, I was, yeah I was, and there's a bunch of chicks there, and they go to Corey, and he goes, "Hey, listen, I'm really care about these girls, and they have to be girls only, okay?" And you, okay, and you come to my house, and I take my butt, and I go, I go room to room, and yeah, they need they need shelter and and soup, and yes, and it's like what the you know, and then and then he's having a sex party. I yeah, go, hey, come on, man, fix up to get in. I go, what? And then then he's night begins. Oh, hi, it's uh, it's comedy, but yeah. you know. He, he can jam out. He jams out. Okay. And this is Wolfman Jack. Here's Corey. Check oh. <laughs> <laughs> it out. Yeah. <laughs> That's why right. the great Corey hit. That's yeah. right. Oh, man. Uh, oh, good Lord. Well, Bali, we're running out of time, but you're going to be at the Hollywood Improv this Saturday. You're doing two shows. Uh, Melrose. Yes. Is, is Melrose your home club? Well, you know, uh, my, my girlfriend, she's, you know, my my. my she she runs that club. Oh, and, really? uh, you know, so I go there once in a while. I dip in there, get some free chicken fingers, and I fail. No, no, I, <laughs> I, uh, I don't usually do it too much, but I'm happy to do it. This I'm, I love doing it. Yeah. So and we're gonna goof off, and I'm bringing some friends along, and uh, and it's gonna be good. I'm, I mean, you know what? We're gonna make everybody a hot Mexican meal. You no, know, mm. it's yeah, we're gonna goof off. Yeah. So, you come in too if you want to, man, or the or oh. San Diego. Oh, I I I'd love to. I mean, I live by Irvine. So I usually I've seen Irvine. you I've seen you at Irvine a few times. Well, right on. Well, you got my you got my cell number, right? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Oh, yeah, of course. You called me. <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah, of course. Yes. <laughs> yes. But no. But I definitely want to go, man. Give me a call, man. Give me a call. Like, just say, hey, I'm coming through, and I'll, and I'll put you through, man. You oh. can go to the first show, or second show. Or you Let's just hang out, out in the green room, man. I got some ladies coming, man. I got a girl named China. Oh. Uh, and uh, got Caitlyn Jenner, two for one. <laughs> <laughs> Well, looking good. I'd, I'd Got a bikini and a weenie. Come yeah. on, it's Saturday. You know, I actually wrote yeah. jokes for Caitlyn Jenner because I I wrote I write jokes for Norm Macdonald live on the podcast. Oh, nice kid. That's yeah, nice. and uh, Caitlyn Jenner was a guest, and they they told me that not to write any transgender jokes, and I thought that was kind of oh, hard. That's strange. You know. Hey man, you know. Hey, tough luck. I mean, these people. Hey, be, be, I, I, they want. They want everything now. I'm in my own bathroom. That's right. I, I can't choose. He can't pick or choose. I sit down to pee, but leave the toilet seat up. You know? <laughs> Listen. You know. Yeah. What, you know, trend, uh, here I am, a woman with nuts. <laughs> like, listen, listen, you he put himself out there. I'm on Vanity Fair, Quackity Coach. Look at you all right. Okay, yeah. I get it. I'm gonna take the award for woman of the I mean, is he on menopause? Come on, is he a milk for a gill? What is he? Is he a nerf? What is he? What is he? Oh, man. What is he? <laughs> hey everybody, I sound like a newscaster. How you doing? Yes. Hi, yeah. <laughs> yeah, all right. He looks like Steve Garvey from the back. Oh, <laughs> yeah. wow. oh my <laughs> That's totally true. Huh? <laughs> yeah, man. Wow. I mean, you can't put you look. He was at the ESPYS, right? Look, dressing in his nicest, in his nice dress, and got not one brother hit on him. <laughs> All right? That shows you. Hey, man, go, go, go for me. He's rich. Hey, no, man, get off him, man. Shit. Hey, how you doing there, Tyro? Get off me. Yeah, we're doing good. <laughs> Come on. You got that many black guys and not one hit on him. Yeah, what? That's smart. Yeah, you That's should probably science. sue the doctor. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you couldn't pull one on Caitlin. I wouldn't think about that, Tyro. I used to be a guy. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm going to the store. Yeah, I'm going mm-hmm. Yeah. He's on menopause. <laughs> oh, oh, man, it's kicking in now. Oh, God, get away. Uh-huh. Olympic. Probably sounds like the Green Goblin. Olympic when champion. When he comes out, when he's bad. Uh, that sounds good. Uh, yeah, there you go, Spider-Man. Uh, well, probably well, we're out of time, but where can the folks at home reach you at? you have a website, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram? I can't find you on Instagram. Probably for- yeah, Instagram, because you know what? I stopped delivering dope a long time ago. So it just, you know, bonk, 
Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Instagram, okay, man. But uh, PabloFrancisco.com, we're working on the Twitter. Yeah, go to Twitter, uh, lowercase Francisco, Pablo Francisco. Go, go to Google. Check me out on, uh, yeah, or Yahoo or Bing. <laughs> and, uh, you know, all, the, uh, all these, with well, Google, yes, that's, check me out. Yeah, just come on in, hug and scratch. Beautiful. Uh, download my stuff. Beautiful. Make compilations. I don't care. Oh, well, thanks like, so much happy. for doing it's, it, man. It makes everyone happy. Thanks so much for doing it. You're one of my comedy heroes, and I just really appreciate it. It was fun talking to you, man. Like, yeah, it was yeah. awesome. Yeah, man, thanks for it. It was fun talking to you, and, and uh, you guys have a good week. And if you got my number, and swing on through if you want. Saturday. You know, you know, thanks for the track. invite. Yeah. I'll, I'll text you my number right now, Pablo, and thanks again. I really appreciate it, man. You're welcome, my friend. You guys have a good day. You thanks, too. Buddy. You too, Pablo. Thank you. All right. Wonderful. All right, guys. That was Pablo Francisco. Uh Saturday night at the Hollywood Improv. On Melrose. On Melrose. August, uh, why does it say August? It's December 9th. Uh, he's doing an 8 o'clock and a 10 o'clock show, and he's also uh, doing the American Comedy Club in San Diego uh, the following week, December 14th through the 17th. And, man, what a show. He was hilarious. Love him. Love non- him. Nonstop. <laughs> Great guy. He is such a talent. Uh, I just, uh, I'm, I'm always amazed. Well, you want to hear the good news about this show and the bad news about this show? The good news is I, I've i laughed my ass off. Like, I'm literally sure. choking on my Diet Coke. Both of us. The bad news is well, we can't get the unknown comic now. <laughs> well, you know, he might come out of retirement, but I sincerely <laughs> doubt it. Maybe Saturday. Saturday. Uh, He'll be at Pablo's at the, on Melrose. That'd yeah, be funny. Man. We should come on Saturday know, why with, don't, a pa- why don't with a paper be, uh, bag and be like, I heard you talking about me <laughs> on <Rose> Rose. <laughs> uh-huh, uh-huh. <laughs> That would be funny. That would uh, be so funny. Oh, man. You know what? Uh, we'll think about that. That's Saturday and uh, Green Room, you know. Mexican food? Yeah. I'm I, not kidding. I might be working, but if I'm not, I'm definitely going. Y- yeah. You want to go with me? I, I'll be more than glad. I'm I'm, I'm sort of planning on, on uh, yeah. taking up on that. Yeah. <laughs> I think we should do the unknown comic bit and just show up with a... I think he'll find that hilarious. Are like, you oh. writing material for me now? No, no, no. <laughs> I just no, but I swear, I think we should go. Yeah, let's I do it. Yeah, and you folks should go, too, uh, on Saturday, December 9th. At the Hollywood Improv. Tickets are at hollywood.improv.com. Uh, he's doing an 8 o'clock show and a 10 o'clock show. There you go. Well, you get all 10 o'clock. Uh, I could probably do the 10 o'clock show because I'd probably get if off. You can. Yeah. So, and then we could just hang out. I would love to. <laughs> Maybe we could get his personal Uber driver to give I us a ride. Know, who knows? So the Walgreens are <laughs> 10 feet away. And then uh, for all you, <laughs> all you San Diego people, it will be the, at the American Comedy Club the following week, December 14th through the 17th. That's, that's a great club, and you were there. Remember, we went. In fact, actually, it, was that the same club with Norm? Yeah, that was, that was a club where uh, we missed the chance to meet Steve Martin. No, oh, that was a bad thing. That was your fault, though. Well, it was getting late, and you were, your eyes were closing, and I, I thought, well, we don't want to sleep on the street. <laughs> <laughs> but everyone else did, right? Yeah. You know, that was a fun night. Oh, dude, it was awesome. It was amazing. Well, uh, do you have anything uh, coming up this week? We don't. Because uh, right now we're, we we don't know if we're weekly. We're just doing well, it. Whenever. I like this. Yeah. It's kind of crazy. We've yeah. had a couple. We had so, like, Heather people, McDonald. Uh, yeah. And then we, you know. And then Pablo Francisco. But this is kind of fun. It's yeah, this is fun. But, but people like write me and they're like, is the show back? And we're, I'm just like, yeah, maybe. It is when we announce it. Yeah, it is when we announce it. <laughs> to be announced. Yeah. TBA. To be a. To be announced. announced. So Excellent. we'll have like always in, in, in a comma, TBA. Yeah. So it's a riffs, TBA. So you got nothing? I got a couple of open mics if you want to show up to the improv on Sunday night. I'll be there. Uh, if you want to show up over on Sunset and uh, La Brea, I'll be there. It's Excellent. a corner right there. And uh, so that's I'm the open mic guy. I'm performing all over town. <laughs> oh, that's a good name. Uh, I got I got the rec room at the end of December. Nice, nice. And uh, I might be doing Irvine with Jeremy Hotz. I no. t- texted him and asked him. Very nice. Very uh, nice. He hasn't got back to me, but you know, hopefully, because I love Jeremy. Well, I thought he was going to swing by one of these days or call in. Yeah, but then he then he tripped over his dog and he broke his arm. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. You don't remember I, that? I don't remember that. We were making like Fraser. Oh, oh, no. well, uh, that's right. Yeah. that's right. What's what's wrong? yes, I do remember. Yeah. So, wow. uh, even if I'm not doing Irvine yeah. with Jeremy, you should go still see Jeremy because he's the funniest guy. Yeah, yeah. I, I will. I will. And um, you know that's all I got. And then uh, you know Pablo on Saturday. 
uh, Paul Boyle Francisco. We we at the are Hollywood going, Improv. We be, and, you know, we will be there. We Eight o'clock, yeah. ten o'clock. And uh, we're going to sell that out, and he's going to sell that out, and we're going to come in with two he's bags and be like, no, but he's good bring, show. He's bringing, some, he's bringing some ladies. Yeah, he's bringing me, China, and he's bringing you, Caitlyn Jenner. I'll pass. That's what I'll he pass. said he was bringing her. I, I, well, is Tyrone going to be there? <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Uh, if you like the show today, please do us a favor. Uh, follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at Reza Rifts, yes, indeed. R-I-F-T-S. Uh, we really do need the support. And also, if you have an iPhone or iTunes, if you could subscribe to the show uh, and rate and review That's us. Uh, we prefer five stars, but we do... We'll take four. <laughs> no. Uh, four we, do, we do want honest feedback. So... Uh, if you like the show, give us honest feedback. If you don't like the show, I mean, it'll hurt Alan's feelings, but it, we like honest much, feedback. I'll be, I'll be in tears. The, the, can't they sample us, as I tell my friends, on YouTube? Like, yeah. They get on. We're, also, we're also on YouTube we'll and SoundCloud. They already get it. And uh, I don't know much about SoundCloud, but... Um, I've listened once on, on SoundCloud. Uh, yeah, but I don't know anything about SoundCloud. It just seems like it's a cloud with sound. It's more than that. Yeah, I don't know. Just but uh, we have a cloud coming up right here. Right here. <laughs> Look at that right there. I'm not kidding out the window. I see it. But uh, so subscribe to us on iTunes, rate and review, and follow Pablo El Francisco on uh, social media on Facebook and Twitter. His website is www.pabloelfrancisco.com, and he'll be at the Improv on Saturday, and it's going to be a great night. Um, also, if you want to follow me, uh, Keith Reza R E Z A. That'd be great at Real Keith Reza on Facebook. And uh, before we close the show, uh, we got to mention these sponsors one more time, and then we'll see you guys next year. Alan, do you have anything to say before I read these? No, no. It's uh, This has been a great year, and uh, we'll do it again, man. We'll yeah. do it again. All right. Have you... Oh, I forgot my glasses. Have you been searching for the best shoes and sandals for running, hiking, and walking? Well, look no further. Zero Shoes is your solution. Start shopping right away by going to raisearifts.weebly.com and click on the Zero Shoes tab. Zero Shoes has been seen on Shark Tank, the show. And you could get your pair of Zero Shoes at raisearifts.weebly.com. R-E-Z-A-R-I-F-T-S dot W-E-E-B-L-Y dot com. And click on the Zero Shoes tab. Very comfortable. Very comfortable. I'm, I got some new shoes. I got my dad and some new shoes. Ah. Some Zero Shoes on RazorRifts.Weebly.com. Nice. So, Very you know, nice. I didn't know my dad's shoe size, so I just got him size 2. Well, well, he could always exchange them. It's a great company. Because Yeah, it's a great company. But then my dad's going to get, like, really small shoes and be like, what's this? I'm going to be like, oh, surprise, uh, you're going to be a grandfather. Uh, <laughs> uh, 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 that's a and little. You're, you're that, the dad. Yeah, that's a little kid joke. I thought it was cute. I thought it was cute. Very cute. Little shoes. We can't have cute jokes, Alan. Like we have to have a great, amazing jokes, Alan. Like so maybe I'll I'll be seeing you. Do Saturday. you think that would have been probably all for approved? Uh, we can find out Saturday. All right. Well, we'll find ask out him Saturday. Saturday. All right, guys. <laughs> well, I'm Keith Reza, Alan Lee. Rate, subscribe, and follow us on Twitter. Yeah, beep, man. Beep beep. <laughs> You're listening to Razor Riffs with Keith Razor and Alan Lee right here on LA Talk Radio.